the icevi the nippon foundation mathematics package for teachers video series abacus as a mathematical tool title of the video division of two digit dividend by two digit divisor example 84 divided by 23 let us start with two digit dividends and two digit divisors to get a better grasp of the assumed quotient concept let us take the example 84 divided by 23 let us set 84 in the right extreme of the abacus that is the digit 8 is set in the tens column and 4 in the units column let us set the divisor 23 in the left extreme of the abacus we have to ask how many twos are in 8 as we have to consider the highest digit of the divisor and the highest digit of the dividend by saying 4 we have to apply the assumed quotient rule that is we reduce 1 from the result we get out of the first stage of division that means 4 minus 1 we take 3 as the assumed quotient now the question is where to set the assumed quotient here the quotient setting rule that we have been following in the division applies that means when the highest digit of the divisor is less than or equal to the highest digit of the dividend we skip one column to the left of the dividend and set the quotient in case the highest digit of the divisor is greater than the highest digit of the dividend then we do not skip a column and set the quotient to the immediate left of the dividend in this case we have to skip a column from the dividend and set the assumed quotient as 2 is less than 8 that means the assumed quotient 3 is set in the thousands column now we have to start the multiplication first we have to multiply 3 with the 2 that is the assumed quotient and the highest digit of the divisor we get 6 but we have mentioned in the multiplication section itself that the multiplied value should always be treated as a double digit number that means it is treated as 06 let us subtract 0 from 0 in the hundreds column and 6 from 8 in the tens column the next operation should be started from the tens column now multiply the assumed quotient 3 with the lowest digit 3 of the divisor we get 9 that should be treated as 09 and 0 should be subtracted from the tens column and 9 in the units column as we cannot subtract 9 in the units column we subtract 1 in the tens column and add 1 in the units column that is add 5 in the units column and clear 4 in the same column now the division process is over as the divisor is a two digit number the right two columns are meant for the remainder and therefore here the remainder is 15 we can check this with the divisor 23 which is larger than the remainder therefore the assumed quotient is the correct one there is an empty column between the quotient and the remainder which is separating both the quotient and the remainder therefore in this problem the quotient is 3 and the remainder is 15 